Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the newest zombie for the Undead Uprising, and it is Ricky Steamboat Eternal Dragon. First things first. Can we talk about this? Holy shit. That is incredible. Fantastic job. He looks so good. I, I know I've gone on record before and said I want my zombies to be like creepy looking and gory. Um, big fan of Zombie Kane's um, attire. Big fan of Zombie Foley's attire. This is right immediately in my top three. Um, he looks fantastic. Um, secondly, no, he is not Legends era. I know Zombie Page is PG. Zombie Austin is Attitude, and everyone else is modern, even Hogan, even Foley. I don't know why. I really don't know why. It is what it is. Um, and thirdly, he is a modern era focused trickster. Coach ability, moves, and gems that generate yellow gems will create three more yellow gems, increase kickout damage done by gems by 10%. So if you don't have Hall of Fame Booker, you're never getting Hall of Fame Booker. Sorry. I know I'm in the same boat. Uh, but this would be the coach that was the uh, replacement for that. Keeping in line with what we've seen throughout the month. Links, zombies, 20% more health. I'm assuming we're not getting a zombies 22 link because this is the fifth zombie already in this event. And it hasn't been determined or finalized. So I'm just going to assume they're not getting one. Uh, modern era gems do five percent more damage. Just the one standard set of gear. All right, so I have a three star, a four star, and a five star build I want to show, and I'm going to do something a little different with my three star build. Uh, first, let's take a look at it. It's double purple with red one. So the finisher, flesh ripper chop. 10 MP deal, 113,429 damage. Choose eight trap gems to destroy and pin the opponent. Purple two, the corpse catapult, 8 MP. Deal 90,394 damage. And make six random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, decrease the damage of all of your opponent's gems by 15% for one total turn. If broken by you... Deal 6,666 damage for every trap gem. And red one, the Dragon's Descent 8 MP. Deal 89,663 damage and make 8 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, deal 123,953 damage. If broken by you, make 6 random gems into purple gems. Um, entourage for this. I'm keeping this one kind of free to play. I don't have the ideal coaches. Uh, who you would want to run is Acro Dragon for an extra trap gem. And the new Zombie Orton because he is the uh, moves and gems that generate purple would make more purple. He would be the one you want for this um, red one trap move, but I have neither. We're going to go with Butch for Red MP, Jinder for more traps, um, Santa Hogan and Showboat Lacey for purple gem damage. For the belts, Going Full Fury looked for some purple gem substats because I'm hoping we can, um, you know, chain a bunch of these traps together. Uh, three star, so like I said, I'm going to do something a little different. The three star build is really clunky. It is not something I would recommend running, but it is a preview. So I am going to show it. And instead of me playing the match, I'm going to let you play the match. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to use autoplay. <laughs> Let's just see. Uh, can he autoplay chapter one? Um, yeah, this build sucks. Sorry. He's not a bad card. He's got other builds that work. But this one is very clunky and three star. He's not built for three star land. So we're going to let autoplay handle it and see what happens. Good luck. Really? It's 
Good thing I passed shapes. That looks cool. As a zombie with that little fireball thing. That looks really cool. All right, Otto. We have max tour perks, so this is ready to go on tour one. Turn one, even. I know words. I didn't match a trap gem. Let's let's just turn auto off for a second. Boy, what the fuck? What? You had it. You had it. Oh, so irritating. Anyways, these are the trap gems that we want to match. Because this is where we get the purple gem spam. So. Spam, spam, spam. See, this could have been over turn one. Autoplay, one out of ten. You only get the one point because you used the move on the first turn. The three star build sucks. Proceeds to do two million damage. That'll teach me. Anyways, that's the three star build. Um, I'm gonna show the five star build next because it's a slight variation. I don't have to change a whole lot of things. Uh, but let's go look at what the five star build is. Five star build, like I mentioned, is a slight variation. We're keeping the finisher, we're keeping red one, and we're bringing in the five star move purple three, which is the dragon tail lash six MP. Deal 70,365 damage and increase your red MP by seven. So what we're gonna do for this, um, I'm going to forego an MP trainer. You could use Trickster Woods, uh, but what I'm going to do is use a Hall of Fame Dusty. I have a 50% increased chance for purple gems on the initial gem board and matching purple gems charged moves of that color by two more move points. And with my max tour perks, if I get a purple match on turn one, this match will be over on turn two. I will show you why. Uh, so we're going to use Hall of Fame Dusty instead of an MP trainer, keeping the belt the same, keeping the rest of the entourage the same. Allow me autoplay. Allow me. Perfect. So we will hit the dragon tail lash. It would have been cool if he had an actual tail and hit you with it like Bianca's braid. Just saying. Um, but we are going to put out our random trap gems and I wanted to get a good number of purple gems on the board because we're going to use the finisher to destroy, we're not gonna destroy eight, we're only gonna destroy like two. Because what I wanna do is make sure everything can... Y'all saw that, right? Did he just do the Trish Stratus hand lick? Did they just copy the move from Trish? That's amazing. That's amazing. Not only does the chop rip your flesh, he then proceeds to eat it in front of your face. Don't clip that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to destroy like two trap gems and we're getting six uh, purple gems per. So we're going to put out 12 random purples. That should chain together a decent amount. We are kind of, you know, hoping on RNG here, but I feel like this will be sufficient. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That worked out damn near perfect. We missed one, but uh, 2.1 dam million damage and we are completely reloaded if for some reason they kick out. Um, so that's why I kind of like the Hall of Fame Dusty over an MP trainer, just because you can choose a small amount of trap gems and then slowly cascade everything down. Similar to Walter, Hall of Fame China, Powerhouse Kevin Owens. Uh, but let's um, let's go back and take a look at his four-star build. 
four star build is going to bring in both of the blue moves and red two. So blue one, Flight of the Dragon, five MP, deal 78,374 damage, and choose a seven by one area to make into pyro gems, which will modify all gems above it into botch when broken by you. Blue 2, the Severed Arm Drag. This is the 4-star move. Also 5 MP. Deal 69,984 damage and choose 5 gems to make into red gems. And red 2, the Diving win Wing... I know how to talk. The Diving Wing Slash, also 5 MP. Deal 78,194 damage and make 38 botch gems into blue gems. Um, so on the count of three, say whale. One, two, three, whale. Um, I'm using Trick Lacey. Uh, I am not using NWO Perfect because I'm not that kind of whale. I'm totally kidding. I have him. Um, but I figured Lacey is probably a lot more accessible than he is. She is going to give us plus two blue MP and plus one red with my max tour perks. Everything is going to be ready to go on turn one. And then we're going Fury. We're going Damage. And I'm using Trick Riddle and Trick Stacy, and the reason being uh, the 40% damage for botch gems is higher than the 35% damage to blue gems that I would get from using Acro Edge, Acro Macho, Acro RBD. Um, and in terms of coaches, Hall of Fame Snoop, Hall of Fame China are 20%, Afa is 15 King Seamus is a flat 2200. I'll take the 30% on the botch gems. So Lacey for MP, Riddle and Stacy for botch gem damage, and then keeping Santa Hogan. If my Santa Hogan was 17k, we wouldn't need to use an MP trainer at all. And we could probably throw in Acro Edge. You could even use Trick Seamus because he's 35% to botch gems. It's the same damage output. So that would be an option as well. And for the belt of Full Fury, I have a rainbow percent because it has 6.7% blue gem damage. This is why we keep rainbow medals, by the way. Um, so yeah, this should be turn one, you know, decent hit. And uh, if he kicks out, we should at least recycle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Flight of the Dragon. And because they are pyro gems, pop quiz... Uh, do pyro gems go on the top or the bottom? Answer. They go on the bottom. As the flames shoot up. Uh, choose five to make into red. We only need a four break on this bottom row. So do that. And then we might as well just put them there for a little more damage. And that's going to turn all of this into botch gems. And if we look, 13,000 on the blue... 18,000 on the botch, so an extra 5k, roughly. And then Diving Wing Slash. We are going to make all of this into blue gems. Hey, it worked! What do we got here? 938,000, and by god, if it didn't keep them down. Bye. A sliver. Don't expect that result every single time. Maybe if you have Fury 2s. Maybe. Um. Okay, that worked. I'll take it. Let's, uh, let's wrap things up and talk about the 6-star move. So a couple thoughts before we wrap up this preview. With the blue build, I know it's super appealing to be like, wow, you're turning almost the entire board into botch gems. I tested out a whole bunch of different ways to play it, and there were like 0.1% of scenarios where the botch gems actually stayed intact, and it had a shitload to do with RNG. Um, so if I tried the armor build with the cheap shot and the gem defense, and I ended up needing to use this move to convert everything to recycle. So... Probably best to take the damage approach, but let's take a look at his six star move. And wouldn't you know it, the time has come where I do a preview and the portal is updated. So six star move is eight MP. 
And this is the max six star value. The Deadly Dragon Dropkick, 8 MP Red 3. Deal 123,148 damage and make 13 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, steal up to 450,771 health. If broken by you, Deal 187,117 damage and increase your blue MP by three. So if we were to theory craft a build here, it's a red move, it's eight MP, so it's high charge, but you would probably run, hmm. You would probably do Flight of the Dragon. And then, hmm. You'd kind of need... Hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe double blue. Because I was thinking you could do the Diving Wing Slash. With the Flight of the Dragon move, and turn all the botch into blue. That probably wouldn't be all that fun. So if you went double blue with the six star move. Yeah, the other problem is, are you going to override your botch gems? Are you going to override your trap gems? Because the, the damage dealt... If you get your opponent to break them, and with Jinder and Acro Dragon, you can put out 17 traps. It's the whole increase your blue MP by 3. Oh, we could do like a major um, F your life build. So if we did, let me just adjust things on my screen to make it a little more easy to theory craft. If we did that. So the dragon's descent, make random traps. If your opponent breaks them, he damages himself. You make purple gems. Is there a break purple, get blue, or a break purple, get red? You could use that. Uh, the severed arm drag would load up your red moves. And then the Deadly Dragon Drop Kick. Again, if your opponent breaks them and you add King Woods as a coach, you would be stealing almost a million health per gem. So that could be fairly nasty. But again, it's one thing to theory craft. It is another to actually see it in action. But this might be the build that I run. Um, now, if anybody happens to get him this weekend and for some reason shoots him to the moon, um, please let me know how this build works, because on paper, it looks like it could be a lot of fun. In practice, I am not so sure. Uh, but that's probably how I would run the six star. Yeah, and then, you know, try to get your opponent to... The problem is the random traps, right? If we could choose the placement of the trap gems, we could probably attempt to outsmart the AI. Insert autoplay comment here. Um, you know, place them on their primary colors or on a four match and be like, yeah, they're definitely going to take this swipe. And we could use that to our advantage. But with everything being random, 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 um, it's a slot machine, right? Unfortunately, it is a slot machine, but that's probably what I run for six star and that ladies and gentlemen and those of you in between and those of you that are neither concludes our preview of Ricky Steamboat Eternal Dragon again massive props to the to the design team for this. I'm a big fan even the whole like he doesn't have a top lip thing is just you got the little flammable sign on the jetpack and just all sorts of awesome uh to reiterate 
modern era focused trickster coach. He is the yellow gem equivalent of what we have been seeing this month. Links, zombies for more health, modern for more damage. No, he is not Legends era because that is apparently not how zombies work. Um, and just the one standard set of gear. So let me know what you think in the comments of this video. We have, this is our fourth version of Ricky Steamboat in the game. I know a lot of people still swear by the tech. And a lot of people still swear by the acro. Striker, not so much, even with the addition of Riddle, maybe with the Foley Plate. But uh, where do you think he ranks amongst the other Ricky Steamboats in the game? Uh, because that is a fun conversation to have. Let me know any other questions, comments, concerns. How do you like the artwork? How do you like the builds? How would you run him? I didn't use any skill plates in this video because there aren't really a lot of good ones for these builds um head games cheap shot red to blue is such a tough one because there are no plates they usually the skill plates uh that generate gems usually like if you break red it nerfs blue or if you break blue it nerfs red so that kind of sucks really hoping we get some some filling out there in the skill plate department but uh yeah that's the the eternal or the eternal dragon again please consult me on names and uh, thank you very much for taking the time to watch be sure to like share with your friends and subscribe all that good stuff turn them notifications on and thank you for being a friend Bye.